Welcome back to Not Your Status Quo with Keith and Dave. We're about to break down the Avengers Infinity War new trailer. It's a breakdown, not a review. I always get that wrong. And remember, <laughs> if you like what you see, uh, subscribe, hit the like button, um, hit the button with the bell so you get notified of all new videos that we make. The entire time I knew him, he only ever had one goal. To wipe out half the universe. If he gets all the Infinity Stones, he can do it with the snap of his fingers. Just like that. Tell me his name again. Thanos. Okay, and on that first clip that we see, there's a whole lot going on. You know, the first scene is like a scene where the sky is spinning. I don't know if that's like a view from the Q-ship as we see something falling to Earth. Is that Bruce Banner being sent possibly by oh. Loki using the Tesseract to get him to Earth to warn the Avengers about Thanos and collecting the Infinity Stones? I saw it as a ship, so good eye. Could, it could be a ship. Who knows? You know, we don't know at this point. That just occurred to me that because we saw Banner in the Sanctum Santorum in the first trip. <clears throat> In the first trailer so it definitely could be him mm -hmm. and then you know we hear Gamora talking the entire time I knew him he only had one goal and then we kind of see Black Widow and Bruce Banner and War Machine on a platform probably in Wakanda or, not really or I would think maybe uh, the Avengers um, that place upstate New York maybe definitely there. could be they don't really show enough that I could see where I could discern where it was and then she finishes their sentence where she's like to wipe out half the universe and then we see the Sanctum Santorum again, and you see the thing flying towards it in the actual, like, glass. So once again, it makes me think it's Banner flying in. And, uh, you know, and if he gets all the Infinity Stones, she says, he can do it with a snap of his fingers, just like that. Which is referring a lot to the Infinity Gauntlet comic book yep. by Jim Starling, where he basically wipes out half the universe with, by snapping his fingers once he has collected all the stones. Yes. Uh, you know, is that foreshadowing to the end of this movie when he collects them all? Who knows? Or does he even but, get them all? You know, we don't yeah, know that. No, we definitely don't. Yeah. And then we see Stark saying, tell me his name again. And then Gamora says, Thanos, but clearly they're not in the same room. You can tell by the lighting and by what's going on. But we do see Thanos at the end of that clip taking his helmet off. And if you notice, he only has the power stone in the gauntlet, which means... The beginning of this film is probably going to be Thanos arriving on Xandar mm -hmm. to get it. Him and his Black Guard, I assume. And once he kind of takes down the Nova Corps, I wonder if that's going to have the Nova Corps power up Richard Rider or Sam Alexander as Nova. Maybe we're going to get a Nova sighting in Infinity War. Who knows? There's already a ton of characters, so maybe not. But the Nova Corps is going to have to do something after being you know, decimated by Thanos when he grabs the power stone. We got one advantage. He's coming to us. We have what Thanos wants, so that's what we use. So in the second scene, we see uh, Spider-Man um, wearing his regular clothes. And what did the t-shirt say? It says, lettuce, the taste of sadness. Which is hilarious. Um, but Spider-Man is, you know, he's kind of prone to not wear his entire outfit. So, you know, he's putting on the hat and just getting the hat, the face and just going. The mask. The mask. That's what they call he's him. He's not Hannibal. He's not Hannibal. <laughs> <someone's face. laughs> and then we do see Spider-Man swinging under a bridge and hitting the water. So it looks like he's still getting used to his powers and everything. He doesn't have the Iron Spider costume that we will see later on yeah. that we know he's going to be wearing. Mm -hmm. Uh, we do see Iron Man chasing the Q ship, and then he gets this rocket booster. Not rocket from Guardians of the Galaxy, the raccoon, <laughs> but an actual rocket. And it looks like he is using the Bleeding Edge armor, where it's kind of nanobots inside of him, that form the armor, so he can change it. You know, then we hear Tony Stark talking. He's We have one advantage. He is coming to us. We have what Thanos wants. Then you see a shot of the Time Stone and, and uh, the Mind Stone. And the Mind Stone, yes. So obviously they know Thanos is coming for them, so they're maybe going to try to set a trap or maybe use the power of the Time Stone or the Mind Stone to stop him. 
We don't know at this point. We know what Peter Quill thinks of the plan in a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we see a shot of Wakanda. And then we see a uh, team of Avengers basically arriving, greeting Black Panther. And it's Cap, it's Black Widow, it's Falcon, it's War Machine. And in, we, in the background, you see the Vision being uh, ca not carried off, but assisted off by um, Scarlet Witch. So yeah. this is possibly, you know, it was in the first preview. Um, so we know it's going to happen. But this is probably after the conflict with um, Thanos. Yeah, we see squad. the Black Order, uh, Corvus Glaive and Ebony Maw trying to remove the Mind Stone from the Vision. So it does seem like this is after that. And he's weakened by the whole ordeal. So they are coming to... Kevin Feige has confirmed that the third act of this movie is going to be in Wakanda. That's where they think their best defense is against Thanos because of the technology there. So it seems like it makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, then at the end of this scene, we see Shuri using her beads to look at the vision. Yeah. So once again, kind of hinting that he's already been attacked, he's weakened, and you see in her little, like, holographic image, the Mind Stone is it's gone. Pretty, and we know the vision is made. It's not gone. It's there. Oh. But it's kind of studying it. But remember, the vision is made of vibranium that Ultron stole. Right. Or got from Claw in so a Age of Ultron. Yeah. If anyone knows vibranium, she's definitely the one who's going to do the best job. Let's talk about this plan of yours. I think it's good, except it sucks. So let me do the plan, and that way it might be really good. Wow. Okay, this starts off, that last clip starts off with the Guardians getting off their ship. Looks like it's nowhere, the collector's place, where we know the ether is. Mm -hmm. We assume it's still there once they get there. And if you saw the leaked scene that leaked a little while ago, you see Thanos comes calling to the collector, and the collector is telling him he no longer has it. So did the Guardians beat them there, and they now have the ether? We don't see the ether at all in this clip or the first trailer. Or is he just a liar? And <laughs> could be a liar, too. Could be. But you think Thanos might know. Uh, but we don't see Thanos having it in his glove, either. So we really don't see any mention of the ether in any way. Of course, they could just be changing the special effects on the glove for the trailer, so we think... He only has the power stone and the space stone. Just like in Thor. Yeah. Ragnarok when he, he thought he had two eyes. and he, you know, like Yeah, they can change it up. So they might be throwing little false facts our way. We won't know until the movie comes out, but we can talk about it. Uh, and then we have that great scene with uh, Peter Quill. Let's talk about this plan of yours. I think it's good, except it sucks. <laughs> so let me do the plan. And, you know, that way it might be really good. And like uh, you know, everyone is just standing there, and he's like, uh, Tony, you know, is disgust. And Drax looks like this is just the norm. Yeah, he's know? he's used to Peter Quill being that way. Yeah, yeah. And the best was at the end, Tony is at a loss for words, and I don't think that's ever happened yeah. in any of these movies. I couldn't wait for these guys to be in the same scene to see something like that. Yeah, I know you were looking forward to Drax and Iron Man being together. Yeah, I want to see that conversation. We didn't see it there, but we will. Okay, so in this last scene, it opens with the Falcon over Wakanda um, and the Hulkbuster armor. And I personally think that, that that has got to be Tony Stark in there because it's very stable. And the one they showed in the first preview where he just kind of flies up and it's like that. See, I don't think it is. I think it's still Banner. He's yeah. just standing there because he's not flying with it. So maybe he's a little more used because I think Iron Man, Star-Lord, Drax, Spider-Man are all on Titan. They're doing separate missions. So I do think that's Banner inside of it. Because you do see when Falcon's flying over, you know, you also see War Machine, it looks like. And that's a kind of cool scene. He's standing there and you see the two fly overhead. Obviously, the battle for Wakanda. A bunch of the Avengers are there trying to stop the Outriders. So very cool. Truthfully, that makes a lot of sense. And then, you know, you get the... Uh, and the end of that last clip is Thor. He's somewhere with Rocket. It looks like the place where he is... Uh, forging his new weapon, Stormbreaker, mm -hmm. which maybe at some point, I believe that was Beta Ray Bill's weapon, so maybe he's going to get uh, Mjolnir fixed at some point, and then Beta Ray Bill is going to take Stormbreaker. Once again, two characters with very similar powers, so we may never see them in the MCU together, but it would be really cool. I have heard um, through reading an interview that uh, with the Russo brothers, now, you know, we have our speculation here, but I've read what, what that they said, and then it, um, 
They says mainly, not mainly, but Thor's part in the movie is going to be Thor, Rocket, and um, Groot. Groot traveling through the galaxy. So I think that'll be a pretty fun um, aspect. It'll be a good group. Yeah. When I'm done, half of humanity will still exist. Okay, starting this off, we see a Q-ship crashing. Looks like it's either Titan or perhaps it is Gamora's homeworld because the next scene, we do see what we hear Thanos saying, when I am done, half of humanity will still exist. Mm -hmm. So talking about his plan again, we don't know if that's in a flashback because we know Gamora has known about his plan all along. But then we see Thanos in his armor and he's taking Gamora from her home planet. We know he wipes out her entire planet, basically. She's the only one left. Most of her kind. But the cool thing, I think, in this scene is you see Gamora's people, but you see the Chitari kind of keeping them back away from Thanos and Gamora. So it's kind of cool. He has the Outriders now, but this was pre the invasion of Earth in the first Avengers, so he's still using the Chitari. Mm -hmm. I think that's a nice little touch, you know, mm -hmm. keeping the Chitari there and the Outriders coming later. Uh, then we see, you know, Thanos about to crush Thor's head, it looks like, or he's making him look. Maybe they're going to have the Black Order kill Loki after he sends Banner back to Earth with a warning. He wants Thor to see this, so he's not really trying to crush his head, but just making him look, because we do see a scene with the entire Black Order, and uh, Proxima Midnight is pointing her staff at Loki. Mm -hmm. It looks like Ebony Ma is doing something with his hands. It's really kind of hard to make out, and it certainly does not look like Loki has joined them right. in any way. He gives up the Tesseract, Maybe it's to save Thor's life, or maybe it's because he knows at least I got Banner to Earth. But if you look really closely at this scene, too, it looks like Hembill's sword is lying on the ground. So did Loki get him off to somewhere else? Is he mm. on Earth also? We just haven't seen it. Or did something happen to Hembill in, in that fight? And it would really suck if he wiped out all the Asgardians after the, the whole point of Thor Ragnarok was to save them. You know? <laughs> that would kind of suck. That would really suck. And like you said, um, uh, I think he's making Thor look at um, uh, Loki for some reason. I, I haven't figured that out, but I figure that's right after that is when he throws Thor into space and he lands with the Guardians. That's you know. Absolutely. We do know he ends up on the Milano with the Guardians. Did I say absolutely? Yes, he did. Oh, nice. <laughs> you need to get a drink. Uh, you know, then we see the end of him crushing the Tesseract to get the Infinity Stone out to put it in the gauntlet. Perfectly bound. As all things should be. Okay, this last clip we have it starts with Bucky getting ready and uh, you know Cap with his new shield. You know Black Panther gets his you know face on. They're ready to go. Uh, like you said, that could be the third act. You know. It seems like it. You know, mm -hmm. we, we see the Outriders hitting the Wakandan shield. Looks like they're taking it down to really get the battle underway. We hear Thanos. Perfectly balanced as all things should be, you know, they're really kind of hammering home that his goal is to basically wipe out half of existence uh, They say we're gonna learn why and some flashbacks to his time on Titan So, you know, we'll see as that comes out how they play that out. I wonder if it'll be like the comics where he's trying to impress You know, Mistress Death, but it doesn't appear to be the case definitely doesn't seem we haven't seen anyone cast as death and we know they're going to rewrite it a little bit so okay. it's probably whatever happened in his past is going to mold him towards that mm -hmm. you know we do see uh star lord hopping on some platforms that dr strange's creating that's cool that they can learn to work work together that quickly yep. it's you know it's a, it, and you know it looks like it's on titan once again so mm -hmm. whatever side mission or second mission or whatever you want to call it that iron man spider-man dr strange uh, Star Lord and Drax are doing. It looks like they're doing something there. Whether their Soul Stone is on Titan and they're going to retrieve it, while he's on Earth trying to get to time and Mind Stone, we don't know. But they're doing something there. We can tell. And then at the end, we see Doctor Strange kind of trapped by Ebony Maw. We know that Ebony Maw has the kind of power of suggestion, and that trap he's in was in Doctor Strange in his artifact room. Like it was something the sorcerers had. So maybe. He used it, you know, used his power on Doctor Strange and basically said, put yourself in it. We want the Time Stone. Where's it at? We'll see how much Doctor Strange can fight it off. Maybe he'll be able to withstand it, 
Maybe someone will come help him. Maybe Wong is going to help him. We don't know. But, you know, a very interesting scene there. And something, you know, we've seen Ebony Maw and Doctor Strange kind of go at it in the comics, in Infinity, which was a great, you know, Jonathan Hickman uh, book, which it's kind of funny. I actually saw a tweet from Jonathan Hickman where he said, I remember when people were giving me crap because my Avengers comic didn't match the movie. And now the movie is basically taking, you know, his Infinity comic and putting it on the big screen, which I cannot wait, certainly. Yeah, it, it's going to be awesome. I hope they remember you. Okay, and the start of this little clip, we see Falcon uh, flying over the Wakandan battlefield, yep. shooting, tons of Outriders everywhere. We see the Outriders actually overwhelming Hulkbuster, which is why I think Banner is in there, because I think they're going to overwhelm it. And we know when he gets angry, what happens? I think we're going to see the Hulk kind of bust out of the Hulkbuster and kind of join the fray. Mm -hmm. That would be a really cool scene if they pull it off well. And then we see Thanos talking to someone. He basically says, I hope they remember you. Yeah, who's he talking to? What do you think? I think it's Gamora, Nebula. Could be, but then, you know, they throw that scene. We see Tony after that, and Thanos is jumping with a punch. And then we see Thanos pushing down on Cap, which looks like it's in Wakanda. It looked badass that Cap could catch his punch and just hold him, you know. And then we see, if you look at the glove in that scene, we still only see the power in the Space Stone. Mm -hmm. Once again, are they playing with us? And maybe he has the ether in there also. Maybe even the Space Stone. Or not the Space Stone, but... Maybe even the Soul Stone. We don't know where it is. Right. Uh, you know, uh, this could mean they get the Reality Stone from the Collector, the Soul Stone, wherever it is. I know there's a couple theories on this. Hemdell has it. Maybe it's in Wakanda, maybe and that's what Titan. powers that. Maybe Thanos has it on Titan. Mm -hmm. But another theory that's out there is that the Sovereign had it. Because we know in the comics, Adam Warlock is. has the Soul Stone. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's there. Maybe we're going to see Thanos visit the Sovereign. Who I don't knows? Know. We haven't seen a dang thing about it. We certainly have. That would have. be a nice surprise. That would be a very good surprise. I almost don't want to watch any more previews because I don't want to know any more about it. Well, this is the last one, so you're right. Oh, I think God. they've shown enough. Yeah. We don't need to see any more. We just need to see the movie, which thankfully was moved up a week till April 27th, so that's good. I'm Peter, by the way. Doctor Strange. Oh, you're using your made-up names. Then I am Spider-Man. And the last clip is, it's mainly Spider-Man, uh, and, you know, I love that little comedy he had going with uh, Doctor Strange. He didn't even seem annoyed by it, just like, Ugh. you know. Well, it's funny, too, because Doctor Strange is his actual name. Right, right, that's the <laughs> funny part. Yeah, and um, him, you know, flying through the wreckage of what um, um, you think is on Titan. It appears to be Titan, you know? but, you know, we can see. And the, and the one thing I did notice, too, is Doctor Strange does not have the Eye of Agamotto on him in this scene, whether it's something, once again, they're playing with the special effects to make us all talk about it, or Thanos already has it. We don't know. Right. He just came in there and effed him up and took, and took it. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Don't forget our Road to Infinity War is continuing. We're going to keep doing movies up into the release of the Infinity War. Then we'll have our initial review of it, spoiler free, and then we'll have a more in-depth spoiler review. We can't wait to uh, do it for you because we cannot wait to see the movie.